today I wanted to show you a few new members of my team that I have hyper trained, EV trained, and set up for uh, terror raid battles. So right here we've got Cloyster. Haven't named him. But uh, check summary. I have him set up for ice terror type with the never melt ice so that he's. Um, so that his ice moves are boosted. I have Icicle Spear. As you can see, this thing um, it's two to five times. Snowscape will boost my ice types by 50%. Last for five turns and ups ice type Pokemon's defense. Shell Smash is really good because in most uh, Terra Raid Dens, <coughs> somebody else starts with a defense up cheer, and so once you that hits, you will just lower your defense by one stage, and it will up your special attack and regular attack and speed all by two sta uh, stages. And then Razor Shell, just in case you need to fight a, a fire type. But this is his setup. You can see that I have upped his HP and attack, and he is really good. You can see his ability, his skill link, maximizes the number of times multi-attack moves hit. So every time I use my Icicle Spear, I will hit five times. And if you Google how Icicle Spear works, every time it hits, it does more damage. So by the fifth spear I'm doing 125 base power but I've already hit four times before that. <coughs> My next one is Goldango. <coughs> so with amulet coin that does not affect the raids but if you want easy money you can use make it rain with the amulet coin and that will give you a thousand uh, Poké dollars every uh, mm, every time you use it against a Pokémon. I haven't paid attention if it works in raids, but I have him set up with Ghost Terror type. You can see his EVs are maxed out on HP and Special Attack. So this is a Special Attacker. Um, you can see in the categories all of these are going to be Special Attack. Um, Make it rain is a good steel type. It's 120 base power. <coughs> With a metal sound, it will lower, harshly lower their special defense. The problem with this one is its accuracy is only 85. Shadow Ball will also lower its special defense as you are doing massive amounts of damage since you are a ghost type. With the ghost terror type. Nasty Plot will raise your special attack stat, which is what you want anyway. So, he is really good, and then good as gold, he is completely immune to all status effect moves. So, if you are sick and tired of that Sea Titan using Yawn, <coughs> or the Breloom using uh, Stun Spore, or whatever, <coughs> this completely negates it. Which is really nice, because a lot of their programming in Terra Raid Dens is to uh, get you under a status effect before attacking you. I did a Sea Titan. Um, uh, Terror Raid, 5 stars, and he <coughs> only used Yon on me. <coughs> Sorry. So, Goldango is the one to go to. Um, he doesn't have a ton of weaknesses, and with Ghost and Metal, he's pretty strong. You can make a... You can be really annoying with Nasty Plot and Shadow Ball, even if you aren't strong against that type. The other one is uh, Annihilate. He is a, an attacker, and uh, he is set up with Screech to lower their defense stat by two stages. Um, raise your own up by 
own attack and defense up with bulk up, drain punch if you need healing, and then his main move is the Rage Fist. The thing with Rage Fist is uh, you get hit and then it ups your base power by a certain amount. I can't remember the math, but you want to get hit around six times and then use Rage Fist because that will put the base power around. His attack is rage, which is really nice. And then lastly, we have Iron Valiant. He is a special attacker. I always have problems with poison types, so I gave him Psychic for that. Combine to up his special attack and special defense. Drain punch for when he needs healing. And moon blast. For massive amounts of damage. He has the quark drive ability, so I gave him the booster energy to up his attack. Um, which is really nice. With the fairy terror type, he is a pretty formidable foe. And uh, those are all of my new, uh, oh, actually I have one more, uh, boxes. He is right here. Let me grab him really fast. Replace him. So I ran into this little fella a little the other day, and uh, he is a shiny, so I decided to use him. Grass Terratype, I gave him the Terrain Extender, because when he gets set up, he is gnarly. So he's got an HP and attack, as you can see, 450 HP, he is a bulky little fella. Like if you look at the rest of these guys, they're only 300. And uh, this one, he is up there with the legendaries with HP. Um, <coughs> so, with this one, you set up grassy terrain. This makes your grass attacks do 50% more damage. And it uh, does something else. I don't remember what I, Oh, yeah, it restores HP every round. Which is really nice. So as you're doing this and getting hit, it heals you every round. So you set up grassy terrain. Synthesis if you need more HP, which I have never needed more HP when I've set up grassy terrain. Um, bulk up to up your attack and defense, and then you hit them with a the leaf blade. Like, absolutely destroys everything, especially since Leaf Blade has a higher chance of landing a critical. His ability, I gave him an ability patch so that he has his hidden ability, Grass Pelt. Boosts the Pokemon's defense stat on Grassy Terrain. So, you set up Grassy Terrain, it already ups his attack 
and heals him, and then he has his grassy pelt, which boosts his defense stat. So, he doesn't take a lot of damage, and he deals a ton of damage. And then with his terrain extender, it lasts for seven rounds, I want to say, instead of the normal five. So, those are my new, um, new additions. So, I will do this raid just to show you what this cloister will do to this five star raid. So, challenge alone. they would shorten all this uh, um, just cut scenes they are ridiculously long okay so battle let's set ourselves up with snowscape since that will heighten our defense and then see you just saw them drop a defense chair with the, 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 the blue sparkles. So I'm hit with burn which will do next to nothing to me. Um, then you do a shell smash. Crack. So that has neutralized the um, defense chair and I get a boost to my attack and special attack and speed. Which speed is not the greatest in um, raids. It doesn't really help. Do another shell smash. So that will put my defense at negative one, but I've got the snow scape going. So my defense is heightened. I don't know how much. I want to say at least like a stage or something. And then... <coughs> okay. We are ready to... Uh, attack. Ooh, dang. So now that we are set up with four stages in my attack, with Snowscape going, I will use Icicle Spear. And with my ability, I will hit five times. One. And it lowers his defense every time. Since he's got weak armor. Two. So I'm going to faint this thing in one shot. Like, this is ridiculous. That was three. Four. And five. Done. That was a five star raid. That usually gives people problems and I did it in one shot. <laughs> Granted it took me five round four rounds. But literally did it in one shot. That is overpowered. Like absolutely insane. And we don't need that. Ooh, ability capsule. Nice. But there you go, those are my new additions, and as you can see, Cloyster is a, a beast. I hope you enjoyed this, have a good rest of your day, happy holidays, and happy new year. See ya.